Hi guys, today is going to be a very serious video about how anime is misrepresenting the normal bodies of high schoolers by making them look way too perfect. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I am going to talk about it. I know this applies from both sides, but I'm only going to focus on the male side because it's not like I have a problem with big boobs. But anyway, I'm gonna spit some mad roast up in here and, and complain how female-oriented fan service anime is ruining it for us normal guys. Now, I always thought that doing sports was all about competition, always trying to break your own limits and maybe having a bit of bromance with your teammates. But for for some reason, I forgot that doing sports also came with a requirement of looking like a being so perfect that you'd have to have had more than 20 surgeries to achieve this amount of perfection at the age of 16. First of all, what is up with those abs, huh? What kind of normal high schooler has those chiseled abs and a toned body that probably belongs to an Olympian? I mean, the muscles themselves aren't really a big deal because Dragon Ball Z has some insane muscles and I know a lot of people who want to get as shredded as Goku in the gym. Not that I go to gym myself, <laughs> word of mouth. Even I tried to get like Goku, you know, before I realised how much effort it would take and aborted the mission before I even started. But isn't it the thought that counts? Hell, why do I have to work months or even years to achieve a body that these mofos were just literally born with? And even if I did, you can't work out your face into looking good. <laughs> but there is a serious issue when you have an Olympian body attached to a pretty boy. Like seriously, did someone handicraft you? It's funny because a person did manually craft him. Now let's be honest guys, your average Joe isn't exactly a K-pop star looking teenager attending high school. And not only do they have the body of a sex god, they also have a heart of gold. You might as well kill off every average Joe with this hack of an existence. Like they say, it's the inside that counts. Which which doesn't mean shit when those ideal characters have the insides of Gandhi. That was a weird sentence. Unless the dude is a possessive yandere, but then again, I bet there's a lot of fans of that too. And all of this perfect shit brings us all to the same problem, it raises expectations. I saw this deaf or accurate representation of how otakus are perceived. Every time I watch Free, my self esteem plummets. Because I know. I know that this is what the ideal of a woman is. They all want a 2D husbando that sparkles when drying their moist hair. The proof is the sales of these, I hate to admit, pretty good Otome games. Like, I'm not into guys, but geez, these perfect beings are so perfect that my own flaws are poking out my ass. Not that I've played these games. I guess it's a nice, fresh perspective when watching it through the female gaze. Whoops, almost started talking about something real there. So in my opinion, a remedy for all this is we need more characters with varied body shapes. Why can't we have a short chubby guy as the lead in an Otome or sports anime? Even though it would probably make no sense to see a short chubby guy from like a athlete. I don't care if it's a clear bad business move to put off the fangirls by not giving them the ideal characters. I don't care that this applies to both sides and it's probably worse for females when it comes to objectifying. I don't care that I actually don't care about this topic and thought it'd be a funny video to me. In conclusion, all I have to really say is, I'm salty. I hope no one took this seriously. Just don't mix fantasy with reality and you're good. Haha, <laughs> I'm not salty. No, really I'm not. In an otome. In an otome. In an otome. I can't say otome.